Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gary Glory, and uh, I am a huge film nerd, as you all know, and also a tech nerd. So I really got happy when Apple announced 4K HDR, Dolby Atmos, and Dolby Vision support coming to the Mac with the all new Apple TV update, with the next uh, Mac OS Catalina update. I got really happy, and although this was good news. It brought up some fairly interesting points, uh, which I came across, and some questions, which I will try to investigate answers about. And I don't know why I'm doing this. Nobody seems to talk about, but I am because I'm a nerd. Anyway, if you take a look at the supported devices, which actually can play back a 4K HDR or Dolby Vision content, it basically includes the Apple TV 4K, of course and the iPad Pro, all generations, and the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 10, 10R, 10S, and 10S Max. MacBooks aren't listed over here, or any other Mac for that matter, and that makes sense because um, Apple TV on the Mac OS Catalina is still, in, all those things are in beta right now, they're not publicly available, but if I do uh, browse and scroll through the features of uh, Mac OS Carolina, if I scroll all the way down and take a look at what they support, it says 4K, 4K HDR content is available on all Mac models introduced in 2018 with 4K resolution screens. Okay, and if we take a look at the next thing, it says Dolby Atmos is available on Mac notebooks introduced in 2018 or later. That doesn't make sense. That practically, there's there is no MacBook with a 4K screen and there is no iMac or iMac Pro with uh, stereo speakers. So that's really weird. So amidst all this confusion, I decided I'll just install the uh, Mac OS Catalina beta on my 2018 Retina MacBook Pro 13 inch and try it out myself. Try out how the Dolby Atmos works, if I can even watch 4K movies. So along with that, I got myself a bunch of movies. Uh, Justice League, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, and also I rented Aquaman in 4K. All of these movies are supposed to have, I did some research, all of these movies are supposed to have some really good Dolby Atmos mixes, and also they're really remastered well for 4K HDR, so this should be pretty good if uh, my device actually supports it. So there's obviously no way of uh, showing how the quality of the sound or either the video without running into some copyright problems or YouTube's compression. Thanks, YouTube. But uh, the best I could do is just describe it to you. So I watched all of these movies, Justice League, Spider-Man, and uh, Aquaman, and I've got to say, there is a definite improvement with the audio quality. It's loud, it feels like the soundstage has expanded a lot, and it's dynamic, it's very well separated, and whatever new stuff they're doing with the software, with the Atmos, uh, audio rendering engine it's working because these upward firing laptop speakers are really getting close to what you would feel uh, when you have speakers all over around you now obviously since these are laptop speakers you can extend them at to a certain point and these aren't as good as sound bars or home theater setups and i've been to some dolby atmos equipped theaters myself those are at a diff very different level and honestly this gets pretty close this is not really that bad it's actually pretty good uh, but one thing you're really missing is that uh, it's that nuance it's that clear separation of in uh, really quiet dialogue scenes you're not gonna get here because you don't have dedicated speakers for all channels and moreover one of the key features of Dolby Atmos is uh, height effects Atmos height or overhead overhead effects uh, so if you if, if you've been to an Dolby Atmos theater you will see you will have uh, speakers in the ceiling that's to facilitate with the uh, audio effects which go over your head and with an upward firing speakers from a laptop it's not really possible unfortunately and it would be kind of too much to expect uh, that out of a laptop but uh, even even sound bars uh, some, sometimes struggle with that because you know they're actually faking that effect by bouncing the upward firing uh, sound from the wall to your ears, from the ceiling to your ears, and um, I don't know, uh, but whatever it offers, it's pretty good. It would have been nice to have uh, had the emulation of the high effects, but it doesn't. But 
it would be nice but oh well next uh, if you want to talk about 4k yeah unfortunately all the three movies i played which are available in 4k dolby vision it says on the product page none of them seem to have played in in full 4k on this mac i know what 4k looks like and this is definitely not it it looks like high bitrate 720p or 1080p file at best and if i take a look at more info in all of these movies all it says hd and there is no uh, no option of seeing what kind of resolution uh, is this playing back in but it does say 4.69 gb which is too low for a 4k file that much i do know but i guess that's a bummer now looking at all of this it would be safe to assume that macbooks as of yet don't have full 4k support uh, uh, when it comes to itunes movie purchases which is crazy because you've been able to play 4k hdr movies on an ipad pro on a 900 dollar ipad pro since 2015 you can play 4k hdr movies on a 600 dollar iphone it yet this two thousand dollar machine which can edit and render 4k hdr movie you cannot play and i didn't mention this yet but what's even worse the 2016 and 2017 touch bar models all of those macs they apparently cannot even play dolby atmos because they don't have the T apple d2 chip which has got to be some drm thing all of this you know uh leads me to believe that this 4k hdr feature is being saved for i guess the mac pro sorry imac pro and also the 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 rumored 16 inch macbook pro which is supposed to launch by the end of this year that's just classic apple so yeah let's see what happens till then i'll just watch justice league in dolby atmos and tear my ears out again thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys the next one cheers